Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over a quick video on the Airbus helicopters uh, EC-135 and the H-145 door handles and the door locks. I know there's a lot of words. Anyway, there's a lot of sim similarities between the 145 and the 135. They're pretty much almost the same on this part that we're talking about. Just the door handle and the locking mechanism that connects the interior door handle to the locking mechanism and the exterior door handle. Anyway, we're going to go over that real quick. We're going to go over a couple things that aren't in the maintenance manual and a couple things that you need to watch for. So if you see the interior door handle loose on in the inboard outboard direction, or if you see the outboard handle lock, sometimes it's hard to open and close because the lock seems to be sticking out further than it should be when it's unlocked and it catches on the locking mechanism on the door. Um, that's what we're going to go over today. We're going to go over how to fix that. All right. So in the EC-135 maintenance manual, and the AMM 52110061, that's the inspection. That's a peri periodical inspection of the pilot doors. Sliding doors are the same. I'm sure there's an in intermediate inspection. That's a different chapter, but they want you to look at a ton of stuff on the periodical. See on the right, see all that stuff? It's nuts. So if you find anything wrong and you need to disassemble the doors, you go to the different chapter in the maintenance manual, which is 52110004-3. That's for disassembly assembly of the locking system. We're not going to go through all of this. We're only going to talk about if you see the door handle loose on the inboard outboard direction, that means somebody didn't put it together correctly. They might have followed the manual because this part isn't in the manual. Or if the lock starts to get unscrewed and it starts sticking on the locking, um, what, the, the hole that it locks into on the outside of the door. All right, so let's just go through this. The maintenance manual, disassembling and assembling this locking system on the pilot door. This is AMM 52110004-3. So in the manual, if we scroll down, there's two variants. Okay. What we're dealing with is variant one. Variant two is for old, like older models. I think it was up to serial number 200. This is for the EC-135s. I don't know. It tells you in the description. Uh, I think in the parts, parts manual, it tells you what variant one and variant two are. But anyway, if you look at the picture, we have variant one. All right. Continuing on. So the first thing you want to do if you have a problem with your door handles is you have to take the door off. If you don't take the door off, man, you're screwed. You're going to take the interior handle off in order to get the cover off. And those two, um, those two Teflon or plastic or whatever washers are going to drop into your door. And if you didn't know they were there, you're going to put it back together according to the maintenance manual that we're going to go over. You're going to miss it. That's the whole point of me making this video. I see this uh, in a, on a lot of helicopters I look at. So remove the pilot door, then we're going to remove the lock. We're not going to do everything on here, but I'm going to tell you the parts that, uh, that we're going to go through. Okay, so once you have the door off and you have it on a table on top of a bunch of nice soft towels or something so you don't scratch the windows, you take off that black cover and then you unscrew that one locking screw and then you can pull out the interior door handle. All right, next thing you do is you take out the screws four and five and you detach the cover. The screws that hold on the cover are number six torque, T-O-R-Q, not Torx, T-O-R-X. Okay, it's the number six. The same style bit that's all over the helicopter, but it's a small one. It's a number six, so don't try to put an eight in there. You're going to screw it up. And if you're going to be working on the exterior door handle, then I would just go ahead and put that interior door handle back into the hole so that those washers don't get sliding all over the place. All right, the next thing in the manual they want you to do is they want you to unscrew some more things, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to take out the turnbuckle, the turnbuckle joint, just because we don't have to work on that. Unless you unless you did the inspection, you found out that it was screwed up, then you can go ahead and continue doing that. But what we're mainly focused on is just fixing the exterior door handle and then putting the washers on the interior door handle back where they belong. Okay, so the next thing we do is we unscrew the locking screw 11 for the external door handle and remove the external door handle. All right, no big deal. There's a washer underneath screw 11. It's one. It's the same Teflon or plastic washer that is on the interior door handle, the small one. It's the same one. That part number is hard to find. I'll give you the part numbers later on. Okay, so if your exterior door handle, it's on the pilot doors and the sliding doors. It's the same handle, I, I think. It's the same setup. It may not be the exactly same part number, but it's the same setup with this lock. The maintenance manual talks about removing and installing this lock. Not a big deal. Okay, but that's not what we're doing. The maintenance manual, I looked around and I couldn't find it. So if it's in there, somebody let me know. But the inside locking part sometimes can unthread. It can screw out of there, which means it sticks out further than being flush here. 
And if that's the case, then sometimes it will catch on the locking mechanism on the door. And if that happens, the easy, what you got to do is you got to do, you got to get to where we are here. Take the door apart, take the door handle off. Then you unscrew that piece, clean it up good, put some Loctite on it so it doesn't unthread again, and then screw it back in and then you're good. And now we're going to put the door back together again. So we're back in the maintenance manual. We scrolled all the way down to the install the lock because it wanted us to take out all these um, push pull tubes and bell cranks. And we're not going to do that because everything looks good as far as we could see. So we're just going to install the door handles again. No worries. So install the lock. Okay. So we're going to skip A. We're going to B. So you put the door handle into the door. Make sure it's lined up correctly. You apply CM620, which is Loctite 274 currently. It has changed. Anyway, you put that onto the um, threads of the screw and then you, sh you use that screw with that washer, screw it in. And it doesn't give you torque, but look, you can't snug it down, otherwise you can't rotate your door handle, all right? So you just tighten it up until your door handle is, it should still be nice and easy to move your door handle. If you snug it up too tight, it starts to get really stiff and then it will wear that washer out like you don't need to get crazy. You have Loctite on that screw, so it'll hold it in there, all right? Next. Two things we're not going to go over, C and D, because we did not disconnect those to get to where we are. The next thing we're going to do is E. It says position lever number eight for internal door handle three into the bracket. So if you didn't put the door handle in there once you took the cover off, this thing will be flopping around. Also, if your interior door handle is loose inboard and outboard and those washers are missing, more than likely they're still in your door. So what you're going to have to do is get to where we're at here but make sure that interior door handle is still installed but the cover is off if that makes sense and you got to lift your door upside down shake it around and you could make those washers fall out otherwise you got to order them and have them on hand but there's a good chance they're still in the door if that makes sense okay if this lever is just flopping around it's not super easy to line it up inside of the bracket if that makes sense and you have to put those two washers in there but it never talks about the washers it hasn't talked about the washers yet so we go to the next step put on the cover install the door handle with some locking fluid and then attach the cover got it and then it says attach the cover this is wrong attach the cover six using screws five and washers four install the cap no there are no washers they're flush screws so i don't know why they said that here anyway crazy so if you did this if you did this job F, G, and H, you did it wrong, like your, your host. Unless, well, I don't know. All the helicopters I've seen, the washers, they just sit in there. There's like spacer washers, they're Teflon. And in here, it doesn't talk about putting them into the helicopter. So if you did it according to the manual, you probably took it out, the door handle out, and then the washers just fell. And now, you're, now your door handle is going to go inboard and outboard, and it's going to have tons of slop. And when you're flying, it gets very annoying, okay? Because it's just sitting there rattling, just wearing out stuff. So where in the maintenance manual does it talk about these washers? The only place I've seen is on the replacement of the fitting for the interior, interior door handle. Uh, it says pilot doors. The chapter's AMM 5211008-4. But look, this is talking about replacing that, the fitting. It's riveted in there, into the door. But the only place it talks about this, D5, it says, if removed, insert washers 5 and 7 and bushings 4, 8. Washers 5 and 7 are the washers I'm talking about. So we're going to look at these in the maintenance manual. I mean, look at these in the IPC so we could figure out what the part numbers are. Because in the pilot door, there's some, uh, some of these parts aren't in the IPC. So I had to go to Airbus and get the numbers, okay? I already, I already mentioned this, but another side note. The washer that holds the exterior door on is the same washer that holds the interior door in, okay? The small one. Okay, so if you did the maintenance manual, but you put the washers in, then you're done. The job's done. Put the door on, you're done. You don't have to watch this video anymore if you don't want to. Actually, you don't have to watch this video at all, but I truly appreciate you guys watching. Just trying to spread the word. So we're going to the IPC, the parts catalog. We are on pilot door locking device, middle install. This is IPC 52110104 alpha. That is a variant, variant one like I was talking about. 
So at the very top of this, it says zero one and zero two. It says pilot door, pilot door. One is left hand, one is right hand. No worries. If you go down a little bit, number 10 is fitting assembly. Number 20 is also fitting assembly. They are for left hand and right hand. That is the assembly. I Look, I've never ordered. I don't know. I did this job. I've replaced this fitting one time. I don't remember which one of these parts I ordered because there's like three of them on here. But I assume if you order number 10, which is either left hand or right hand, and number 20 is the other side, it says assembly. If you click on the plus sign on number 20, it gives you the breakdown of what it should be included in the fitting assembly. So included in the fitting assembly is the bushings and the washers, which are the Teflon spacer washers. But I've never seen them actually glued on to anything. And nowhere in the manual does it talk about that unless it's a maintenance task card that I haven't seen. If you've seen it, know about it, let me know because we could save a lot of people some heartache over this. All right, so if we scroll down, number 50 and number 70. Number 50 is the small washer. Number 70 is the big washer. Part number of number 50, which is the same one that holds the exterior door handle on, is a Lima 521 Mike. 1059218 and the big spacer washer part number is the same number just ends in 217 great i'm not trying to get into the weeds here but the next thing we're going to go we're going to look at is where to find the part number for the washer that holds the exterior door handle on onto the pilot on the pilot doors if you look at the drawing on the ipc which is 5211-0106 alpha Look, the door handle has lines that show it going into the door, but they don't continue and show the bolt and the washer. They should be right there, but they're not. Okay, so I went to Airbus. I said, hey, what's the part number? And they got back to me and they said, it's this part number. It's the same part number as the sliding doors, which I should have figured that out. I mean, I knew that, but I had forgotten. Anyway, so if you go to the IPC for the sliding doors, Sliding door, locking device, middle install, IPC 52130203 alpha. It shows it in here. It shows the door handle. You follow the line, goes through the locking mechanism, and comes out, and there's a washer. And the, even though it's in opposite direction as the other picture, the other one was right hand, this one's left hand, or vice versa. Right here, that's the washer. Same part number. L521 Mike 105-9218. It's the same one as the small washer on the interior door handle. Not to get into the weeds, just trying to help you guys out. And that's it. That's it. Okay? So if you're going to do an inspection on your doors, look at everything. Look at the door bearings. Look at the door fittings. The pilot doors, where they, um, the fittings that are on the airframe, when you latch the door and it grabs onto the top and bottom, those little rolls or rollers or whatever. Anyway, I did a video on that one already. Also look at the sliding door latch rolls. You know, when you, when you, it's the middle latch with that big roller that goes aft into the airframe to hold it in. Look at that roll. They call it a roll. Um, it's not really, I don't know. When you're doing the inspection on the doors, make sure you look at the door handles and make sure they're level and not drop down. If they're dropping down, then you need to adjust the rod ends or the turnbuckles inside the door. Okay, that's it for today's video. I appreciate you guys watching. If you found some value in this video, maybe hit subscribe. Or if you know some people who don't know this information and maybe would find it useful, go ahead and share it with them. I'd appreciate it. I get zero out of this except for knowing that the aircraft are going to be safer and the mechanics are going to be a little bit more knowledgeable with the aircraft. That's it. I do this for you guys. All right. I appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you guys next time.